Welcome back. It's those lovable Coca-Cola polar bears like you've never seen them before, but Coke is not exactly happy about it. The new video puts them center stage in the war on sugary drinks. This video, by the way, is from the Center for Science and the Public Interest. The group is against soda consumption, and after you watch this, that fact may be more obvious. Watch. Sugar, sugar, I want to make you happy. Like the sun you shine, you brighten up a gray day. Sugar, sugar, so good, so good. Sugar. Sugar, sugar, you really make me happy. I get to feeling high. I want to shout it from the mountainside. Sugar. As the video goes viral, Jeff Steyer of the National Center for Public Policy Research calls it misleading, says it actually undermines the real health debate. Jeff joins us now along with the executive director of the organization behind the video, Michael Jacobson. Jeff, I'm going to start with you. You say that this ad is overstating the facts, and by the way, Coca-Cola is also saying that it's actually distorting the facts. Well, it, it's a catchy tune, right? And it, polar bears, you got to love them. But, I mean, get, let's, get, let's, let's consider this for a second. Chainsaws, cutting off polar bears' legs, that's the consequence of drinking some soda. I think Michael Jacobson and I agree, you shouldn't drink excessive amounts of soda, but where we would probably differ is what is excessive. He probably thinks almost all soda consumption is, is too much. And I think, you know what? Occasionally, people should be able to enjoy soda. Obesity is a real problem, but not an occasional soda. I mean, it is a satire, so it's going to overstate the facts to try and make its point. But Michael, did you overdo it? I don't think so. So uh, I agree with Mr. Steyer in that having soda occasionally in small portions is reasonable. But all too many people, tens of millions of people, are consuming soda every day in huge containers, 32 ounce uh, cups, 64 ounces at, at a KFC or a 7-Eleven. So uh, having it occasionally is fine, but the way we're consuming it, it's causing obesity, and obesity is contributing to diabetes, heart disease, strokes, but erectile is this dysfunction. The proper vehicle, is this the proper vehicle to make that point? I mean, you know, you're going to have people who are just going to make fun of the issue, and the perception is going to be that the people who are against sugary drinks are, you know, satirists right now. They're not really buckling down and making a serious point on this issue. I think people understand the video. It's pretty clear. Don't drink too much soda. That's very clear. And we're, what we're going up against, Coca-Cola, forget Pepsi and the others, just Coca-Cola spends about $2 billion a year, $2 billion marketing sugary drinks in okay. the United States. Michael, what do you say to all Jeff, that? And, and Jeff, at what Jeff, point, Jeff, Jeff, what do you say to all that? And what point does the individual actually have to take some responsibility? Right, well, I agree 100%. And to the extent that this ad promotes personal responsibility, I'm all for it. But that would be a welcome change from Michael Jacobson's group, which has long been pushing things like soda taxes. I would imagine they or groups like them support Mayor Bloomberg's ban on large sodas. This is part of a larger campaign that over focuses, hyper focuses on soda. You know, we all know people that are overweight. They probably drink no full sugary soda. It's not about the soda. This is misguiding people to think, oh, we just need to worry about soda. We ought to be having a conversation about total calorie consumption, about total exercise, and it's become a joke already. Mayor Bloomberg, Michael Jacobson, the polar bears, enough satire. Obesity is a real problem. Let's forget about focusing on soda and, and talk about the real issues that are a little bit Michael, more challenging. Michael, where do you think personal responsibility comes in on that? I mean, should we ban desserts? <laughs> should, we <bazan> <laughs> no. should we ban, no, we're not I know you go to Chili's and it's 2,000 calories for a plate of food. You no, know, it can't be more than 1,000, can't be 50. Yeah. What do you, where does it well, stop? We're not talking about banning soda. We're saying let's consume it in small portions occasionally. Well, I and, this, and the industry, you know, consumers should make up their own minds. They will. Go to real, therealbears.org, read some facts. Don't be affected by the $2 billion a year that just Coke spends pushing sugary drinks. Why, I mean, Michael, why isn't you... Mr. Steyer telling Coca-Cola 
to get its its this, its, its whole body off the this, scale. Well, Come why on. just Coke? I mean, not, Coke's not the only company that makes a sugary drink right now. Well, right? that's the next video, Bill. Maybe you well, know, and Pepsi. And I, that, that makes me think, Michael, that you're feeling a little guilty from the years you spent working for ad agencies that represented Coca-Cola. Do you? I, I never worked for Coca-Cola well, or ad the guy agencies. Who made, the guy who made his ad has worked for industry. He's also worked for Al Gore. Let's not focus about the ad. Let's Maybe we could agree that we need to focus on calories and forget about making a joke about soda. It's enough already. Let's remember that soft drinks are the one food or beverage, the only one that has been shown in scientific studies to promote weight gain and obesity. That is why we see, and the, the Centers for Disease Control and Mayor Bloomberg and other healthy advocates focus on soda. So I, I just urge people to go to therealbears.org and make up your own minds. Jeff, you I'm have a final word here. I'm all for that personal responsibility approach, but Michael Jacobs has long been pushing soda taxes, and the food police are not in favor of choice. If this is a new move in the direction of personal responsibility, welcome. All right. Gentlemen, thank you both. Thank you.